welcome to my basement and what I'm doing is taking apart my rebreather because I didn't have a chance to do it last time I dove and so what we're doing is uh, today I taught a distinctive class well as technology is my friend sometimes hence the rebreather and it's not my friend sometimes when it's a non rebreather non piece of scooter equipment camera systems as I'm trying to figure out. So it auto off and if it does it again I'll have to figure out why it did that but it turned off and I think I've changed it but back to the delayed service marker buoy thing and I'll splice this together and put it on YouTube and you guys can fast forward through it or not. So when we were doing it um, the young lady that was taking the class um, couple were taking the class one of the things they said was we don't feel comfortable with our dry suits and I said something today that was super profound and I wish I would have had this recording going and I tossed the idea around of having a recorder going 24 7 well not while I sleep obviously but going all the time and that way when really cool things come out of my mouth I can record them so the thing that I said was that the reason they were, what it was was she was struggling with her dry suit. And she was not struggling with her dry suit because she knew how to dive it. She was struggling with it because she wasn't diving it enough. And I thought about how I could explain it to her and I came up with this. Diving is in three phases. And the first phase is when you're like a beginner. And the first phase when you're like a beginner kind of sucks because you're nervous about everything. You're worried you're gonna be screwed up. You're worried buddies are gonna not um, like you and wanna dive with you again. And that's always a stressful place to be. And the only way to get out of it is to dive to the point where you're in level two. And level two is that you have dove the same gear enough that you're pretty much set up and you understand how everything works and you're comfortable with the fact that things aren't gonna go wrong. So people who dive dry suits may have a level two towards the end of the dry suit season and then at the beginning of the level, at the beginning of the wetsuit season, there might be a level one for a couple of dives on a wetsuit and then move to level two. Eventually you get to level three where you're comfortable in everything no matter what you're diving and that's a hard place to be because there's a rub from get to level one to level two takes about 10 dives from 10 level two to get to level three takes about 25 dives but for every dive you don't do so like let's just say it's two dives a day so we have five days where we did this and then we get to level two and we've got 50 days that we do this but then we take a week off it's not six months guys because that's what the refreshers say it's every kind of time you change so if you've been six months without diving a dry suit, you're on a level one with a dry suit again and you have to start all over. And it's okay if you have a patient buddy or an instructor who like me today is willing to make her a rock star again. And it took a little bit of time because the number one thing I found with people who take a break is they don't understand, if they take a break, they don't understand that, that they're gonna feel uncomfortable. And what they usually equate uncomfortable with is that I need more weight. And I could fight all day long on the no weight thing, but you should be, you should have enough weight to overcome the difference of your air. And you should be going down nice and slow, but that's it. So anyway, that was the profound thing I, I was doing today. So it was a really cool course. The delayed surface marker buoy, I highly recommend. If you're not taking a course where you've done a lot of bailout drills and you or you've blown the bag a lot of times and that sort of thing you may not see the point of it if you've done that kind of stuff but if you haven't i mean it was neat they were having rookie mistakes on how to blow up a bag how to get it to work how to use reels that sort of thing so if you think of the course as a, a basic fundamental course in lift bags and reels you'll get it it's pretty cool so hopefully something comes out of this video that i want to share but uh, i'm going to end it and and we'll go we'll see you